Oh no, hell no. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna make an Italian reacts to Italian-ish recipes from the US, the UK, all over the world, whatever I can find. And I was simply scrolling to my feed and I saw a Chrissy Teigen recipes for, if I'm not mistaken, was a cacio e pepe. I was like, I need to make these videos. <laughs> I mean, she's a great cook, I guess, for Asian food, American food, whatever, but not for Italian recipes. I was like, I was shocked. It was so wrong. That dish is a traditional pasta dish from Rome. And I think the people from Rome will be very angry at that recipe. <laughs> and I, it's just too funny for me when I think all of us Italian, when we see American recipes in particular, because you just butch them like so badly. I see all those like one pot pasta, all those things, it's just hilarious to us. And I want to clarify that this is absolutely from a standard Italian person point of view. I'm not a chef, I'm not a 90 year old grandma. I don't know how to cook greatly, I just know how to feed myself and that's it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna react to one video at a time because uh, otherwise it will be too much. And for today I found this test made uh, profile on YouTube and they are pretty famous. They have almost like 1.60 million subscribers, so I guess it's very famous. Uh, I guess it's from the US, I don't know, don't come for me. And I didn't know them yet, so it's truly improvised. I don't know what I'm gonna find, but what caught my eyes was the title, nine pasta recipes that will transport you directly to Italy. So I was like, Come to me, baby, come to me. I, this is going to be fun. Okay. Also, why do I look like the wife of a mafia guy? I don't know. I just, I just felt like that. <laughs> I don't know. Have this Italian song, like fake Italian song. Okay, he's making some pasta with beetroot. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen, no, maybe, yeah, with beetroot, like tortelli with beetroot, that's a possibility. Don't see it so often though. Okay, all by hand, that's a good start. Okay. We don't, we, 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 okay. Is filling the tortelli with pumpkin, I guess, and that's okay, that's something we do. But he closed the tortello with butter. You don't need that, you just, just push. You don't need to put butter over the layer. I'm confused. Is this a candy? <laughs> no, we don't do this. No. What? Okay. That's a lot of butter. And that's a lot of onions. What are you going to do with those onions? No. No, no. Orange peel? And those onions, okay. If we use onions and we don't use onions like that, it's just plain over the sort of It's just, no, no. You, you're going to ruin, what? <laughs> and if we use onion, we just make little, little tiny pieces. Otherwise it would just all taste like onions. Like, why? I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm really confused. No, yeah, no, that's in the Parmesan on top. Yeah, that's, I guess it's something that we could do. But that's a shape that we never do, okay? Mushrooms. 
how much butter do you use? <laughs> you guys use too much butter. <laughs> You're going to die soon, eh? come on. He used like two kilograms of butter. Like, no, no, no. You take like a cooking brush and you spread it a little bit if you have to use it, but you don't use it like this. You don't just, don't just put a cube of butter and make it melt and you have it. Pasta, okay. No. Why bacon? We don't do bacon. <laughs> no! You got okay, we just poured a chunk of butter in the pan. Oh my god. Are you guys serious? It's not healthy to do that. Also, we don't do that. <laughs> and I wonder what's the bacon for? We wouldn't use bacon anyway. We use pancetta. Well, I don't because I don't eat meat, but they would use pancetta if it would mean something in this recipe, but it doesn't. <laughs> no. Garlic, we don't use garlic like that. We don't chop it up and put it in a pan. We use the whole glove, 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 how do you say it? Anyway, the whole thing and we put it in a pan and we take it out. You know, you don't just leave it there, otherwise it will be too heavy to eat. The pasta is swimming in butter and onion and garlic. We, you will never see an Italian person do this. Like, no. What is that? <gasps> no way, no way. Oh, they put the heavy cream, the parmigiano, the, the everything in one pot. And then the bacon. And now it's putting the pasta over the mushroom. What is that plate? And the mozzarella on top of it all. And the provolone. Parsley, of course. We needed something more. Oh my God, you guys. No, no. Okay, sweet potatoes. Okay, we never use sweet potatoes, by the way. I do, because they're very healthy, but almost never use sweet potatoes. I don't know what it's making. And then made pasta with pumpkin, no, with sweet potatoes in it. That's oh tagliatelle from sweet potatoes. That's something you'll never see. You'll never see, you guys. I guess they will be good, but um, and healthy, but no, you probably won't see it in Italy. A butter, of course. <laughs> Cube <laughs> of butter. Garlic, of course. Why not? Flour. White wine. Heavy cream, of course. You guys use so much butter and heavy cream. I just uh, never seen anything like that. Parmesan, not Parmigiano, Parmesan. <laughs> okay. Might be good, but it's just not. <laughs> What's that? Was that still beetroot? We don't use that much beetroot anyway. <laughs> just like, they got the ingredients wrong. Not even the recipes, just the ingredients are something that we don't usually use, not that much anyway. Okay. Oh. What? Again, spinach filling, okay. Could be something that we do. They look cute. They look kind of delicious. But I don't know why she made that style, but could be parmesan. <laughs> parmesan. Basil? No. Not. No. No, you guys. No, you need to stop using butter like that. <laughs> Just milk, butter. Okay, nutmeg. I'm always scared of where it's going. Like, onions. Garlic, all chopped up, like shredded chicken. 
And there you go. Chicken. I knew. I knew chicken was gonna come. Listen, you wanna know? <laughs> okay, I, I'm not. I don't mean to be evil <laughs> towards you guys, but we don't use chicken in our pasta recipes. Never. It just doesn't exist. <laughs> chicken could only be in our second course, the secondo, and that's it. Why would you put it in the pasta? It's not even a good meat. Don't even get me started on the chicken parmigiana. That's another story. We're gonna talk about that. But no chicken, you guys. No chicken in the past. That's like one of the first rules. You guys are so funny. Corn? Oh, no way. Is that, oh, that's the cream from before. Oh my God, oh my God. You just put corn with the shredded chicken and the tomatoes. And then the super heavy cream that it got, super full of garlic and onions, and I am shocked. I don't know, and I'm scared to know where this is going. Like, I'm, I'm... a moment of silence. You just put the pasta in it with the whole thing and the chicken broth. <laughs> I'm having a heart attack. It just put parsley on top. No, no, no. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> you guys, it just put mozzarella. Oh my God, on top of it too. Oh my God. I keep hearing this fake Italian song in the background. It's just too funny. The whole thing is too funny, you guys. I'm sorry if you get offended by this, but just, it's too funny, come on. I would have been less angry at this video if you guys would have put Italian, American Italian, whatever dishes or something. I know you have a culture of Italian American that moved there a long time ago and you just mix the cultures, but it's not, it's not what we have here, like not even close. An artichoke, okay. Okay, in the lemon. I'm scared. Spinaches. What was that? Is it like a pesto or something? Yeah, it's making kind of like a pesto. Spaghetti. I have no clue where this is going. I truly don't. <laughs> okay. Okay, the pasta with the pesto, I'm here for it. Dried tomatoes, yeah. But artichoke too? Take out some stuff. Like, you were good, but take out. <sighs> so much garlic, you guys. Shrimps. With that much garlic? No, you guys, no. Heavy cream. No, you don't put heavy cream and mozzarella. With fish, N no cheese with fish. No, repeat after me, no cheese with fish, any kind. And sun dried tomatoes, what is he doing? I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm just worried at this point. Of course, some red pepper. <laughs> it dipped. <laughs> the shrimps in the heavy cream and all those stuff and he put lemon too like what what not even thinking about the fish like heavy cream and just cheese and lemon just don't go together like it's it's a principle you don't do that i'm ready to die now okay pen now okay could have made it so easy. Okay, so I just remember that my mom used to do this great recipe with heavy cream and not shrimp, but um, scampi. I don't know if it's the same for you guys. I don't think so. But anyway, that's something that you can do, but it's with tomatoes and just a different process. Like, and that's the only exception I can think of uh, without the mozzarella, without 
all the other stuff. <laughs> the dry tomato. Why? Why the dry tomato? It's just... Oh my god. The poor chicken. Shredded chicken. Garlic and butter. <laughs> Why not? Heavy cream, you guys. What do you think we do? <laughs> we, we would be obese if we would eat like pesto. Oh, no. hell no. Hell no. Lasagna noodles. What, what, what are you talking about? What is lasagna noodles? What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Like, it's making like a chicken pesto with heavy cream in a pasta pocket or something. And it just called it pasta noodles. No, lasagna noodles, sorry. Just the layers of a lasagna. Like, they are layers, they're not noodles. What? The noodles are the Asian version of pasta. No. Don't call them noodles. It's a pocket in the oven with with a ton of mozzarella on top. Why not? Why not? Oh my god, you guys! Why are you doing? It makes me sad. This makes me very sad and concerned that our culture is painted this way. It's just nah. Come to Italy. A bunch of garlic, of course. Squid. Muscles. I'm not even eating this stuff anymore, but I'm just for the purpose of the video. I'm not complaining <laughs> Shrimps, okay seafood dry tomatoes Random just randomly and pasta Do you think we put dry tomatoes everywhere? We, do, we don't lemon juice And done. <laughs> I didn't think this was gonna be so bad. I can assure you, I don't know the channel. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm happy you guys are not even recreating because you're not nah, just, you're happy about cooking Italian food and that makes me very happy. Uh, we're very proud of our culture, but um, this is not the right way watching this video it makes me think that you guys are convinced that we use a ton of butter <laughs> like tons of butter garlic i mean we use garlic but we don't chop it up like in, in a million pieces we take it out when it's cooked when it's ready we take it out because it leaves the flavor but you get rid of the heaviness that garlic has and the heavy cream we use heavy cream but rarely <laughs> and it's heavy like for us if we cook pasta with heavy cream that's going to be a heavy meal like we would be like yeah but that's it i'm going to eat veggies for a month <laughs> if i can find chrissy teigen's recipes i will definitely review them and i also found some from gordon ramsay and this is even funnier because these are people that are considered like great chefs and uh, i think if you are like a big name <laughs> in the food industry like you should travel and see what these dishes actually are and don't just make things up they don't represent the culture of this country and that's the same thing for asian food or just indian or whatever i think it's so crucial that we stick to the original recipes and we want to spread all this good stuff around the world but the right ones <laughs> not invented ones and that was it for today i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any recipes you want me to take a look at definitely put them down in the comments um i'm here for it like just don't even get me started on the tasty profile, just so much content. I send you guys so much love and I'm gonna see you the next time.